Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up guys and welcome back to another Let's Build an Airfield, Military Airfield, episode 20. I believe we're on episode 20. Uh, so I have the, uh, the hangar bays are finished, finally. <laughs> I spent probably an hour off camera uh, working on the few things that I told you guys I was going to work on. And then kind of preparing... Yeah, I'm still loading up. <laughs> I just jumped in, hit record, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I spent a little bit of time down there uh, trying to figure some stuff out for this coming up episode. It's going to be called the main entrance. Um, <laughs> probably should have did that first like I did the uh, uh, Missouri Memorial, but no big deal. We're going to catch up and we're going to do it right now. So but before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Oh, uh, I said in the last video, uh, I would give you a schematic and I probably annotated it that it was going to be on episode 20. So look down in the description and you will get a uh, schematic and I'm going to give you the bird. I'm going to give you the B-52 with the little tug in the front too. Um, so I'll give you this whole thing right here. And, uh, and that's your guys' reward for following me in this series and just commenting like crazy and giving me the thumbs up and lots of support on this series. So there you go. Anyways, uh, so the last episode we went ahead and uh, built this little maintenance shop. Of course, I mirrored it to the other side. It just makes it a hell of a lot easier. And I will probably have to turn off shaders so that you can see inside of here uh, because I've done uh, quite a bit of work. Um, nothing like super like heavy duty but we've got an overhead crane now and uh i cheated <laughs> i ripped this out of the old warehouse from the old bib world those have been around for a while it goes way 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 back um this is the old warehouse and actually this is in town uh in the main city now uh and i changed uh you know the i think the outside of it or something or other anyways it's sitting downtown this is the crane this is one of the cranes that's inside <laughs> I got lazy, guys. I didn't feel like making a damn crane. Uh, so anyways, it runs on overhead supports up here. Um, I think that makes sense. <laughs> High-tech shit. Uh, I got some lights in up top. Uh, that helps out a lot. And uh, I'd like I said, I got a little lazy. Um, did a little bit of lighting on the outside. Uh, a little workbench here. Some little filing cabinets. Some shelves. Um, I don't know. Some more shelves. Uh, an air compressor type thing. Uh, some storage bins. Uh, I used the uh, the pistons to make it look like cabinets, uh, a couple little crafting tables, and then the crane assembly over here with a couple hoppers on the side, and I forgot the door. Oh, oops, I needed that shit. <laughs> uh, tank outside, and again, I ripped that from the other side. <laughs> I know, guys, damn it, I got, I got a little slack. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll put a door on there before uh, before this episode's... Or well, after this episode. Anyways, got some little tie-downs on the side. And then a crane controller here um, in the back. So we've got like, I don't know, just some shit. <laughs> so you can stand here and control the crane. Really, really simple. Uh, not a lot to it. Didn't do nothing inside the main hangar bay. Uh, so it's just like we saw last time. Now we can look at it without the shaders. And you can see that it's finished. I didn't put any lights down the middle. Um, <laughs> got lazy. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, if you guys want to put some lights in it, go ahead. Uh, but anyways, that is the B-52 hangar bay, and I think it turned out really awesome. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, there was a few things that I would have liked to have done to it, um, but because of the design, uh, I, I couldn't. I would have rather have got this up in here in the little small emblems, but no big deal. So that is that is it. Is that it? Let's, let's swing around it one more time and make sure. Uh, yeah, I already went over that stuff on the last episode. That's it, guys. All right, so we're going to fly down here, and I've got a very, very straight road, and it soon won't be uh, because the more I work on this and the, uh, the more I get into it uh, and more experience, I start coming up with bigger and better things. So it's what I've got <clears throat> is I've got a pretty cool-looking picture uh, that I'm going to use off of hmm, Grand Oaks. Air Force Base, I do believe, is where it comes from. And I'm going to put it right here at the end of this long road. That should give me enough room to kind of spill some buildings off to the side. Um, the PX and all that kind of stuff. And actually, I learned that the, uh, the Air Force calls it a BX. Base Exchange, I think is what that stands for. Um, so anyways, uh, right down through the middle here is where the, uh, the main entrance is going to be. Now, I've already got it done. 
this is a this is an old save. I'm going to load up the other world save, and I'm going to show you what I've done. But basically, is what I well, I'll explain it. <laughs> I'll explain it. Let me go ahead and load up the other world, and I'll show you what I've got ready. All right, guys. So this is what we have. So I follow this road all the way down, <laughs> and magically, all this appears in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Not really. Uh, spent actually quite a long time on this, uh, and 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 you'll see why here in just a few minutes. Um, trying to follow one of the aerial shots that I took off of Google Images. Um, or Google, yeah, Google Images. Yeah, with the little earth and the globe and you click on it and you... <laughs> one of those things. Anyways, it's it's one of those it's one of those days, guys. A um, little crazy, a little whacked out. Uh, but anyways, I took that and I spent several hours uh, basically trying to lay out uh, the main entrance coming in. And again, I will go ahead and overlay that over the... Uh, the screen so you can see it or put it down in the corner or whatever. This here is going to be the main entrance right here. Um, this is going to be where it says, I guess, Warriors of the North. Uh, from what I'm looking at, at the picture, uh, I'm going to have to figure out the orientation on this that I didn't spend any time doing. <laughs> I just took the aerial shot and started laying everything out. Um, now I'm in looking at the pictures and uh, we'll have to figure out which way everything goes. But down here, um, there's some really cool like uh, displays on the outside. Uh, a couple little hell choppers and then uh, some airplanes here in the middle on these pads out here. There's a nice little path that uh, you can walk and, uh, and visit those uh, museum type areas. They'll probably be older planes. Um, I may put like the F-4 uh, Phantom in there uh, and maybe have to build a couple other ones, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyways, that'll be the main uh, entrance right here and then one, you know one lane coming out for the exit uh, it's an Air Force base it's not extremely busy like a naval base I mean a naval base you know you, you have two carriers there you got 10,000 people just on two carriers uh, Norfolk had four lanes going in um, but they also had a shit ton of ships and you figure each ship had you know, like sitting between 500 and 5,000 men on it so yeah there's a lot of people a lot of parking uh, Air Force base not quite so much um, there are some pretty decent sized Air Force bases, but I'm, you know, when I, I'm, I'm looking at these pictures here, I see one lane going in, one lane coming out. Um, uh, plus, for the scale of my world, I, I think that will work out just fine. Um, I really don't want a big freaking expressway going right through the middle and kind of taking away from the feel of this. Um, uh, this airfield is down inside the valley, which is not inside the valley. Now I've got to pull up um, the rest of them hills and stuff later on. Uh, after I get some buildings in, you know, smush more trees around, whatever the hell. Anyways, this is what I got. Uh, off here, there's uh, some sort of a building here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, I would imagine it's some place for the, your gate guards and stuff to come in here uh, and switch out, take a break. Uh, I'm sure there's a shitter in there uh, and some things of that nature. So anyways, yeah, there'll be two lanes. You'll come up, there'll be two lanes right here going in, and then they'll they'll go into one lane coming out. So right there, two lanes. And over here will be your um, uh, base base pass office. So this will be like a info uh, before you get on the base. <laughs> uh, you, you need to get a, uh, if you're non-military, you'll have to stop here and get a base pass. A uh, temporary day pass uh, that you put in your car that they can see uh, when you're parking around the pass saying that you've checked in. Uh, you are cleared of all weapons and, um, you know. So anyways, that's the little base ticketing thing where you get your base passes and again off the left hand side uh, where those planes will go had a really nice split here in the middle and uh, it's it's not it, everything's not even everything is non symmetrical in this this type build and this is uh, the second time that I've done this now and I did it in the uh, the memorial build um, I did the uh, the park that I'm working on down there I did that the same way uh, basically I had it in World Painter and I just started kind of painting things out uh, where I thought they went and uh, you know whether or not they were exactly even or not you can see this road comes in a little bit further and that one goes up a little bit further and uh, and I think it's gonna add it's gonna make it a little more interesting um, I will still have to you know double check the width on my roads and make sure that they're okay and straighten them up probably a little bit you can see how this one kind of angles out I like that. I think it's like I said, it's something different. It's something a little more interesting than what uh, the normal straight roads um, or just diagonal roads. Um, this looks really good in an, uh, from an aerial type view. Uh, over here is basically, I think I'll probably have to put in a little bit of parking uh, somewhere. Probably right in here, I'll put in some parking for people that just want to get out and walk up 
uh, here and, and check out the uh, the museum. There's a shit house right here, and then a path that just goes to nowhere. Um, and then another little path out here that goes to probably another small helicopter or maybe even a tank. I haven't decided yet. Um, I've only got two tanks, and um, I don't really know if I really want to put one at the Air Force Base. Uh, over here is probably like a little maintenance shop type building uh, with a little parking right here. And a uh, guy can go over here and like do like grounds maintenance, uh, probably lawnmowers and shit like that, I would imagine. Uh, again, I'm just kind of guessing. And then the rest in World Painter, I pulled up my uh, trees uh, that I have. There's like an import thing. It's, it, automatic trees whatever fuck it <laughs> and then i've got some rocks built um i built these a long time ago and i started importing those um here and there and and it kind of again adds a little more interest so that is the main area that is the main entrance that's what we are going to be working on in the next several episodes uh so anyways i hope you guys uh like what i've got and are excited for it uh there's another main parking lot right here and I did switch out, like I said on the last episode, uh, I switched back out to stone. And the andesite now has this texture instead of the stone. Uh, I got to thinking about it. My uh, my ores all have the, uh, the stone back. So, I mean, kind of had to do it anyways. Uh, so, anyhow, that's what we got. We are going to start. Where are we going to start? Flip a coin, flip a coin. Do we start over here with the parking lot and a little small building? Or should we do the main entrance? Hmm. Should I tease you guys? What should we do? Okay, let's do the main entrance. <laughs> you guys talked me into it. And uh, we'll just spend a couple episodes after this just kind of tidying some things up. But anyways, uh, so this is going to be the main entrance here. I figure out which way this thing is facing. And I need to clear my inventory and figure out what kind of blocks I have, what kind of spacing I have. And our main road will probably go back to gray wool. Um, just for now, like I said, I've got the stone and a site. I really don't think I want to run that back up to the airfield. The airfield now has this um, on the uh, the airstrips and then the stone, or yeah, the stone, uh, the gray wool right there for the main roads. So I think is what I'm going to do is I, I will probably switch all this over to gray um, and then the pads, uh, I might do something different. Uh, the path, I'll leave that as stone because uh, I think that'll add some nice color to it. And then this path right here, I think I will leave um, the andesite rather so, all right let's figure out what we've got for spacing uh, on the outside uh the building will probably be you know, we're gonna use brick but i'll dig into that here in just a minute and i'll figure out that sidewalk uh in just a little bit too uh going back that way looking at the picture here guys and that wraps around here and i think this is where all the flags are um so we're looking that way in the picture is the way i'm gonna build it uh, i see some curb action here on the side i might not have it quite right i might be off just a little bit uh, but i'm thinking thinking i'm pretty damn close thinking this road here off to the right goes back in there and then right behind that mound um, you can't really see but the, the roads there anyways, and I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume that's the way it is and then the flags are right there Yeah, all right, so that's the way we're gonna build it. Flags will be there and this will be the main building. God dang, that took a while All right, so we've got something in the middle. We'll have to figure out middle one three five seven nine eleven And one three five seven nine eleven And I started on the same one. Yeah, and then one one and right there's the middle good so it did come out right all right so right here is going to be the center and there is a little thing in the middle and this might be a little bit bigger than i wanted hmm. i have to move it up I have to move this up a little bit but that's fine let's go let's bring this up to right about here and right in the middle we're just going to kind of lay out with some paint blocks for right now there is uh a little structure uh, that a gate guard he'll stand in here on this side and uh, and he'll check your badge or he'll check your um, uh, stickers on your car and then there'll be another one on this side which is a little bit bigger booth and that guy over there he will do the same thing so for now let's see two three four five six seven eight nine it doesn't need to be super super big and I can move this if I need to and like I said just for right now we're gonna lay it out in pink um, shit, is that centered? No, it's not. Damn it. I need to move that over by one and then bring that down like that. Now that should be center. There we go. Alright, so anyways, that will be the center piece. I may OCD and center that up with this right here. Maybe not because I think that's the framing of the building. We may slide this forward. Uh, let's see. Or slide it back. 
we can slide it back and then I'm just looking here guys this one's a little trickier I couldn't get a lot of pictures like I really wanted to uh, so I'm gonna have to do some improvising here but it looks like the main supports of the building are going to be somewhere about in here so I'm gonna hold off by three and then go so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve, thirteen, and then of course I'll, I'll move that back. And on the outside of that, we're going to need uh, white stained clay. Is that what I'm using for my lines now? I can't remember. I'll have to go back and check. Should be. But anyways, we've got on the outside of this. This lane is going to be, oh, uh, we need some stone. <laughs> do we use stone brick? Do we use stone brick or do we use stone? Let's use some stone bricks for right now. And that is what's gonna surround this building. So let's just go ahead and do that for right now. And I will move this all in one pass here in just a few minutes. Uh, I don't have my questions pulled up. <laughs> Probably not going to get to them on this episode, guys. I've got about seven minutes of building left, uh, so we will pick up on episode 21. Uh, we will start picking up from episode 12, I believe. I will double check. Um, don't worry about it. I will make sure that um, we are where we need to be. All right, so that is the center. And then we've got a line here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Might have to do that one. And bring that like this and then one two three four five six seven and then white and I'll move this uh, this pink spot back uh, just so we can figure out the lanes so we got a lane right here and a lane right there or there and let's see that will probably taper I'll probably taper that down to the middle but no big deal I'll figure that out later and we'll just pull this back for right now so we'll know where this is at. And then the lane is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the white. Just like that. And why is this so much? Oh, okay, because that's where the main building's gonna be. And that's a lot bigger. So that'll set right over here. So on the outside of this lane, this lane, uh, rather right across from that one so that our, uh, our structures will line up. Two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I make it the exact same as the other side, I think. And then we'll just run this back. One, let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think that. And um, let's pick up our brick. Let's see. Are we going to use brick? Or we, yeah, yeah, I think we're going to use brick. And then we're going to cap that with sandstone, um, so like we see in the picture. So right about here uh, is where that little gate will start. And we'll just do that. And two, let's see. Right there. Let's start right there on the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do nine on the building. And then we can run this out to the other road. And that's where that trims up, right? Let's hang off by one. And then straight across from that, hang off by one and go up. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then up. And we'll put that little thing just like that. And we'll cap that off. And there's some in the middle. And we'll see what that looks like. If I don't like that, I will switch this over. Uh, but I think we're going to do brick and sandstone on this build. And actually, I know that wall is much higher than this. But I don't want to make it much higher than that. All right, so it's a little flat. Connected textures is uh, a little weird here. And uh, we'll have to analyze that because actually this has a little bit of a cap on it. And that's real hard to do in Minecraft. It's really, really hard to do. You know, I mean, you can't do no shit like this or it looks really, really stupid. Um, I don't know. I may thicken that up if I do that. Something like this. And then I'd have to cap it on top. But I'd have to make that thing three damn wide like that and then bring the wall out the middle by one just like that and that just that looks shitty that just looks absolutely like garbage so i'm not going to do that um brick is kind of weird to work with too it's not bad in my texture pack i'm just not again it's one of those blocks that I, I don't use it much it's not a terrible block but it's not a great block either and uh, I'll, I'll fix it one of these days so anyways this little guard house on this side um we got a little wall here and we'll cut out for a uh, uh, uh an entrance here in just a little bit let's take this back and then connect this and just like that i think that looks pretty good and then we've got the main pillars two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and that will get us up to there and we'll for now we'll figure out uh this little building so we're gonna put a little black or a little roof on a little black roof um so do i go on the inside of that there is a wall here and that kick wall goes in and it looks like it connects into 
That building right there. God, it's so hard to see that son of a bitch. I wish I had a better picture. And, uh, man. Hmm. Now I'm looking at it from the other way. Looking back this way. And down the middle, there are uh, some brick structures. And I don't think I'm going to put those in. I think that will look shitty. Uh, and again, my, uh, this must be an older picture because it doesn't quite look... It doesn't quite look the same. There's like a little circle right here. Or I just uh, I didn't carve it out right and maybe just trailed over a little bit. Um, hmm. So on this side, it's got, it's got a sidewalk. It's like a little sidewalk type thing. I might go with, you know what, I might go with the stone slab and do that on the outside because there's a there's a sidewalk that goes around the outside. And it's not, you know, that'll give me a little bit of trim back here. And it's not a lot, but I think it will look better than the stone bricks. Uh, so let's go ahead and lay them down and bring that back. And, damn. And lanes just aren't quite wide enough, but I mean, usually, I mean, usually it's pretty damn close. I think that's okay. I think that'll be all right. Um, all right, on this side here. Oh god, I can't tell what the fuck that is. It looks like maybe the sidewalk might go through in a little bit. Two, one, two, two, to right there maybe. Uh, and then there's there's a fucking corner piece right here. Something like that. And then something that matches that on this back corner. And there is my timer, and that's fine. Uh, we'll go another minute or two while I try to figure this out. Um, there's glass that sits on top of this. And, and I'm not really sure why. Unless he can walk in here. And I would have to do a raised floor. And, uh, and I can do that with... Let me grab the andesite. Or the... That, yeah, that right there. And we'll give him this kind of floor to, uh, to walk on. Let's build that up. Yeah, this is a this is a tricky one, guys. I will see if I can find some more pictures. Um, I've only got two that I'm working with right now, and uh, I pulled up some other base entrances, and this is the one that I liked the best. So I'm thinking maybe you can come out here and look out the glass, and then there will be uh, a door, some stairs, right here, and we can bring that in. Just like that and then build this up here uh, 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 right like that and then glass will sit on top of this and I don't want to go too high because we got to put our, our little roof on it so we're gonna assume this is some place that he can walk into that's, that's the way we are going to build this. Um, just like that. Bring that up. Bring that corner up. And let's take this down to this side. Oops, just like that. And off of that corner, that one's lined up just the inside of that pink block. And I may do a little shifting off camera, guys. I may do a little shifting. Or, you know what? This is a pretty big base right here that that pillar sits on. It's not quite that fucking big though. Not quite that damn big. So I could probably move that back. That that will be just the outside of that pink one. And then if I take that off and then I move this over just outside of this pink one, it should go right here. And again, I may shift I may shift things just a little bit. Uh, again, setting everything up uh, right off the bat is never always perfect, uh, especially when you're just trying to look at a picture and build it. And then this goes here, and then that'll have glass. And then up here, again, another place for him to kind of walk and look around. And we'll get rid of that, and there like that all right so that will probably good enough for episode 20 uh, i think that's a pretty good start i'm going to see what i can find for some more pictures and uh, and see if i can get something a little bit better for the next episode and, uh, and we'll, we'll dive into the pictures on the next one so like always guys i appreciate you watching remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll catch you guys on the next one later